Pinterest, what's good, what's good, oh, what's good? You already know it's the girl Nisi, the shoe plug. If you are if you are a returning subscriber, hey boo, what's up? How you doing? Go ahead and drop a shoe emoji down there at the bottom so I know it's real. And if you are a new subscriber, welcome. Oh, welcome to my humble abode. <laughs> go ahead and drop two emoji down there in the comments so we know it's real um as you guys can tell by the title it is we are uh, the video is today is 10 essentials for starting an online store okay guys if you see me looking down um if i'm looking if you see me looking here to here y'all i'm trying my best to start to keep looking at the lens and stop looking at myself you know just so conceited but if i'm if i'm looking at the bottom if i'm looking down below or over here i do have my notes so i can kind of stay on track um so we're going to basically go ahead and get into it first well before we get into it to anybody um that have an online store anybody that's in the process of opening an online store anybody that is thinking about opening an online store welcome welcome to the bob's boss babe welcome to becoming a boss babe if you're thinking about um being a um store owner or an entrepreneur an owner a ceo welcome 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 go ahead and do it honey it is fun it is great period go ahead and do it don't let nobody stop you go ahead and go ahead go ahead and get your money all right, so we're going to start off with the 10 essentials when it comes down to these 10 essentials guys these are not the only things that you need but these are 10 of the main things that you would need okay um you can go ahead and do your research and find more things because once you start to build within your business you and, and learn your business you're going to realize more you know the more the more things that you that you're going to need basically but these are the things that the 10 things that every business owner basically starts off with so we're going to go ahead and jump into it right now so first thing we're going to need um i'm not going to be going to add this on to the 10 but just a sidebar consistency when you start you, you need god but when you start you know doing anything in life whether that's you know wanting to start your business you know whether that's um you know um uh, trying to uh run a marathon um whatever it is guys whatever goal you have you and, and you want to do guys finish school you know you have to be consistent you know definitely be consistent okay all right so first thing up we are going to need you're going to need of course if you're watching this you got one you got a phone you got a computer you got a laptop you got something some type of device to um go ahead and get you started with your business okay so you need a phone you need a laptop um try your best to like clear up space if you if you know if you're the type of person that like to play games or you know just have a bunch of apps on your phone child clear up a lot of space because you're gonna need it you're gonna need it for all these different apps that you're gonna need especially if you're doing a lot of things by yourself you know clear space up if you want to um if i'm looking over here again at myself y'all if you want to um if you're definitely if you're like you're in the process of starting a youtube channel you're going to need a whole a lot of space so go ahead and clear it up that's number one that's that's the easiest part okay clear the space up make sure you have a device you're going to need to sell online or if you're looking to have an online store you're going to need a seller's permit for the most part um that's how i started off guys some people didn't start off with a seller's permit but you know just to you know cross your t's and dot your i's make sure you have a seller's permit i live in the state of florida um, and in the state of florida it is free you can go on floridarevenue.com it is very you can navigate it very easy it's not hard um i haven't been on there with like almost a year guys but it was very very simple um it it shows you where you can go and basically um fill out for us um uh, fill out the application for a seller permit again very basic very easy make sure you have your um name for your store already make sure that's what you want make sure that's like set in stone that's what you want because that's the the um name that you're going to be using when you're dealing with business that's the name that you're going to be using when you're shipping orders that's the name that you're going that's going to be your brand basically so make sure before anything you have a name you have your name again these are the essentials these are the essentials that you're going to need to start your business so make sure you have a name for your business okay um make sure you honest honestly too guys you are you guys are very accurate and this is like you know again set in stone this is what you want to do we think about it make sure this is you know to spend some time honestly guys i kind of felt like i picked my name too fast just because you know like long story short i feel like i picked my name too fast i like it but um it's i feel like it's it's putting me in that in that that one 
circle I, of just shoes, you know, and I'm not just selling shoes. That's not my goal to just sell shoes. So that's something I have to go back on. So I'm also two guys are going to be telling you some of my st my mistakes, my mistake that I made. So you guys, when, um, you know, you wouldn't make it yourself. So make sure this is the name that you want before you put set in stone that you're getting your stylist permit. Okay. Of course you can always go back and, you know, get a new one, but who wants to do all that? You know, put a name out there. This is what people get, you know, get a taste of in their mouth and then you go ahead and you switch it up. You know what I mean? So you know make sure that's also make sure it's set in stone um another thing sidebar well not really sidebar but to go along with this hello to it i think it takes like five business days to get to you if they mail it to you i think it takes like five business days honestly no more than a week but i doubt it's a week um you can go once you fill out the application and you get approved use your seller's permit number like you, they gave you access to your numbers right away. So if you want to start doing business um, over here, I don't really know about abroad. I don't really do a lot of business abroad. Um, I don't have any vendors abroad, but I know here, most businesses that I deal with, they want a seller's permit, okay? And if they have the number, you can kind of just contact them and kind of explain to them, well, you know, I'm in the process of waiting on my actual paper because that's what they want you to do. They want you to like screenshot, you know, your permit so they know like, you know, it's real. You're not just using somebody else's seller's permit. You get what I'm saying? So make sure you have your sellers from it. Um, next thing is, is you guys, and again, this is a, it, these are no, no way or no form and order. So I'm just kind of giving you guys what I have written down. Okay. So next is an e-commerce. You guys, if you have a business, if you're selling online, if you're selling not just online, but if you're selling anything, period, I don't care what it is. It can be some press on nails, guys. You need an online store. <laughs> you need an online store. Or you... Store. Okay, you need a website. You need a website. You need a website. You need a website. Okay, I can't. I can't say it enough. You need a website. Okay, I feel like honestly, and a lot of I feel like a lot of girls who are business owners, especially when you know we you, you grow and you learn. We all feel like, and I, you have a lot of girls that never even did it, and you have girls that did it, and it was like, oh my god, why did I do that? It's, it's really, it's not cute to have people like, you know, it's not business swappy for, to swappy to have people like, you know, ordering from your DM or messaging, messaging you or texting you about a shoe, about a, a, a um, bag, about, you know, hair, lashes, clothes, and they have to text you and ask for it. That's kind of, you know, people want, people, especially like, I know me when I order stuff I want tracking I like I want to know my stuff is on my way I want to know I want to know what's going on you know like you texting me and you telling me and then especially if you're not getting and especially if you, you know you probably busy you're not gonna get to me right away you know what I mean so and if I can go out I can just track my stuff and see okay well it's here okay they already received it and all the other stuff that's what I like so definitely make sure you go ahead and get yourself an e-commerce you have a lot of e-commerce out there guys you have Wix you have Shopify you have uh um, square um, you have big cartel so go ahead and you know do your research see what kind of fits for you I think it's Wix or square that if you just sell like if you just sell lashes and you sell like two three just two three different kind of lashes or you're just starting off with those and if you're just starting it's best to use I think it's Wix or square it's one of those it's definitely one of those um, where they kind of just you know they don't really charge or if they do charge it's not a lot I don't use it but I heard a lot of people talk about it um, so you know definitely go ahead and you know ch uh, check them out if it's free and if it, or if it's close to free why not you know why not use them that's money that you're saving to compare to having to you know play pay a plan every month and you're not you're only selling like three products you get what I'm saying like so that really doesn't make any sense I personally I use Shopify guys if you have like you know if you're selling like clothes if you're selling hair if you're selling a different type of hair not just one two hair but just some like different type of variety hair of you know like body wave spray um uh, bohemian you know like all those different variety of hair and um um styles or whatever definitely my opinion Shopify Shopify is like the best Shopify like literally does everything for me literally does everything for me if you're new to you know um entrepreneurship entrepreneurship and um and being a boss babe it helps it helps a great ton okay um next thing on the list is you need a printer okay guys you need a printer unless you want to go to if you're um especially you need a printer for like when you're shipping out your orders to, you know because you need to um, you need to print your label to put on your packages you need your printer for you need your printer for a lot of stuff guys like if I didn't I, I haven't started doing it yet but I've seen like a lot of girls like you know start using 
using their own printer and printing out um, business cards and thank you cards and all that stuff. I'm going to have Vistaprint do like my last business card and my last thank you card um, because I'm, I'm basically running out and I need thank you cards. But I'm going to, you know, tr try my best. I'm going to craft my work so I can learn how to do it myself because that's just money I'm saving. You get what I'm saying? So you need... Excuse me, guys. You need a printer. It's a, a great investment if you don't have one. If you had the money to get a um, label maker, I think label makers, there you can get some like cheap, like a hundred or something dollars, uh, like probably like one forty, like one seventy or something. My, I have a HP desk jet, which is really, it was like with very reasonable all together. I think I paid like a hundred dollars plus probably in tax or something like that. Um, but the labor printer, guys, it is a great, that, that's a, both of them are great investment. The difference between a labor printer and um, um, a printer, just a regular printer, is it say the printer has ink and the labor printer, you know, you don't have to buy ink for it because the only thing you need is just like the paper and it just kind of does its own work, you know, does the work for you. So you save a lot of money on buying ink. So you need a printer or you need a labor maker, period. Okay. Um, also, guys, if you need just sidebar, if you are when you if you are when you do get your printer, make sure when you do get your white copy paper, make sure you also get like half sheet too. Half sheet is just basically the printing paper um, for your packages, like the sticky things. Like you guys, like if you order something and you see like all your information on the packages, that's what it is. Those are half sheets. Um, you can go ahead and you can get the use the white copy paper, but just because you know, like let's say it's a rainy day or you know, like they handle this, you know. Honey, they handle them stuff rough. You don't want your stuff to be all kind of messed up and looking all ragged by the time I get to your customer and they be all like, yeah, I ain't order for these even home. So always make sure your stuff is always like on point, okay? Um, next is guys, you need business cards. You need, you need, you need, you need, you need business cards. All right, guys, so excuse my nails in advance, honey. I gotta get my nails done. I'll probably get it done tomorrow. But I have work tomorrow, so I'm really not making no promises. But it'll get done before the week out. Um, so these are my business cards, guys. I'm covering up because my number's there. But um, these are my business cards. I did these myself personally. And these was like my first go round at it. And in, in the back here it says, um, tag us in your photo and you'll be featured on our site. These were like my first my first set of business cards and i like it but you know like now that i'm almost like a year into my business you know it's like oh i want to change this i want to change that i have so many ideas on like you know different things i want to do but you know still be smart about it especially if you know you got bills you were single mom and all that stuff don't just rush and just spend money i still have um a box like a case left um hold on guys let me show you so I got these from Vistaprint. Um, it come I got I think five hundred of these, <laughs> five hundred of these, and I it was two of these. So I'm I just started these this one here. So once I'm out of these ones, guys, I'm about to go and get some more. Um, but it's gonna be definitely new. Okay. Um, sorry guys. So. All right. Yeah. So you definitely need you definitely need um business cards uh, uh, you have a lot of people or not a lot of people but some people feel like you know always oh, outdated don't nobody you know um, use business cards anymore who use business cards everybody use business cards okay if you a business owner you have business cards <laughs> you know what I mean if you, just, you don't just have it you're giving it out okay um Vistaprint I think I got mine